Hey guys, I am here in Mississauga and I'm on a mission to find the unique and one-of-a-kind restaurants and food stops for you to visit. Mississauga is only around 30 minutes to 45 minutes from Toronto making it a great day trip, road trip or a weekend getaway from the city. Hey guys, so we are here to check out a unique way to enjoy some noodle soup. Let's go! Hey guys, so I'm here at the Yosia Malatang. It's a unique concept where you can enjoy like noodle soup in a very, very customizable way. So they actually have like a buffet section where you grab a bowl, grab a tongue, and then you choose from all the toppings that you want in your bowl. At the end, they weigh your bowl and you pay by the weight of the toppings that you got, and then you choose the soup that you want. So what makes this place so unique is because a lot of the Malatang restaurants in general tend to have like a pre-made bowl of soup already or if you get to choose toppings, it's a fixed portion. But what's great here is you can choose however portions you want. For example, I chose some with just one bowl, like a couple slices of meat, so I'm able to try a little bit of everything that I want. So what I love here is they have a huge variety of like noodles from like potato noodle to buckwheat noodle and like hand rolled noodles but they also have the basic ones like ramen noodle, udon noodles and I also saw some premium items like uh, whelk and there was also frog legs if you're feeling adventurous. So for the soup base I got the bone broth and here this one is spicy and you get to choose your spice level and then this other one here is the tomato soup broth and this one is non-spicy so at least malatang normally you may think it's spicy but at least here you get your choice of both so that was really delicious and it really hits the spot if you're looking for like a warm bowl of soup or if you're craving something like noodle soup so what's unique as well is this restaurant is the only malatang restaurant in mississauga there are other malatang restaurants you might find in toronto and maybe in Richmond Hill and Markham, but not a lot offer this concept where it's a DIY customizable with buffet toppings. In Ontario, it's very rare to find this, so highly recommend checking it out. Now I'm here to check out a very unique spot for dessert. Hey guys, so I am here at Babas Kunafa, and they specialize with this specialty Arabic slash Turkish dessert called Kunafa. So when I was in Turkey, kunafa can be found everywhere and even in specialty shops. But outside Turkey, I haven't really seen a lot of kunafa places. Normally, I can only get kunafa in Turkish restaurants. But this spot in Mississauga specializes in kunafa. And what's very unique is, aside from the classic kunafa that you see here, they have some one-of-a-kind creations as well, like kunafa popsicles, kunafa cream, a mixed kunafa and some fusion kunafa like kunafa with Nutella. So I'm very excited to dig in. Mm. So crispy, so cheesy. I actually like that it's not so sweet compared to the usual sweetness I've had for kunafa. So I'm on board with this. Hey guys, so I'll be showing you a behind the scenes of how they make their famous kunafa. Guys, okay, so this is how they're doing the Kunafa popsicle. So Baba Mix is a mix of whole pistachio and crushed pistachio. And half cheese, half cream. And half cheese, half cream. So this right here is the Kunafa dough. Look how noodly it is. Very thin pastry. And what kind of cheese is normally in the kunafa? That one is uh, akawi cheese. Akawi cheese. Akawi. Okay. It's like um, for uh, Middle East uh, sweet or kunafa. Ah, okay. Especially for kunafa. Okay. So that's the cream being piped as the second layer. So it's half cream and half cheese. And now it's covered with more kadaifi pastry. This is the Kunafa Popsicle. Pouring syrup on top of the Popsicle. Mm. 
Wow, look at that. Guys, so I have here their kunafa popsicles. So this one here is Nutella. This is the regular one. Then here is pistachio. And then this one here is the Lotus Biscoff. So let's try. Hmm. The pistachio taste is so good. And I love that there's crushed pistachios as well. For someone who loves pistachio like me, you will love this. So inside, they actually use the cream instead of the cheese. So you don't get that cheese pool but it's very very tasty. On the sweeter side, it being a popsicle and the, the sauce and everything, so be sure to have some water or some Turkish coffee. So I just finished trying all the kunafa popsicles. So my favorite is actually the Nutella and the pistachio. So depending on your mood, I love nuts. So like if you love hazelnut, the Nutella one is really good. If you love pistachio, pistachio is great. Be sure to try some Turkish coffee as well because it's so good to balance out the sweetness of the kunafa. And this one here is the baba mix. Here you have like one half is like crushed pistachio and then here is like whole roasted pistachios. And what's also special is the layers is one half is with the cheese and one half is cream. So it's a great way to try both ways of kunafa and then they top it with some ice cream. Mm. So cheesy. So aside from kunafa, they actually also serve homemade baklava. So this one here is the baba nutella. So it's the same like kunafa with cream and then they drizzle it with lots and lots of nutella. Coming in in hot, as a surprise, they're letting us try their baba cup, which is coming out soon, probably in time for spring and summer. And this is ice cream with kunafa, with strawberries, with pistachio, and with Nutella. Mm. It's such a nice combination. I like that they used Arabic ice cream, so it's kind of different because you don't really get a lot of Arabic ice cream in restaurants and you get the nice sweetness from the Nutella, some tart from the strawberry, and then some crunch from the kunafa, and then the umami taste from the pistachio. So good. I am checked in at the Hilton Mississauga Meadowvale location, and it is a convenient location, very near the city center, near the airport, and a lot of nearby amenities, so it's a perfect place to stay. And let me give you a quick room tour. Hey guys, so now I'm here to check out a unique spot for dinner. Hey guys, so I'm here at Befikre and what they're known for is like very innovative Indian food and I've actually never seen Indian food made this way before. They're very one of a kind. So for example, this is the drunken chicken. This is the first time I've seen chicken tandoori that's been flambéed with fire. And then their golgapa, which is also like pani puri. They actually serve the sauce in like test tubes and that they cool down with liquid nitrogen. And then here we have their paneer, but they make it unique where there's cheese and jalapeno as well. And this one here is their truffle malay chicken tikka with cheese fondue. And the chicken is marinated with cheese cashew paste. They are also known for their craft cocktails and the cocktails were actually created by one of the bartenders who participated in a Netflix cocktail competition. 
So what we have here is it's a tropical punch, and then this one here is the rum rhapsody. Wow, this is so good. So what I love with this is they actually use a lot of tropical ingredients from Asia. So for example, there's pineapple puree, there's calamansi juice, which I love this. Coming from the Philippines where calamansi is very popular, that is such a great addition here. There's coconut puree and pandan leaf. Like it's so many tropical stuff in one cocktail. I highly recommend this one. If it's your birthday, they actually put sparklers on your dessert. And so what I have here is the Ras Malai Tres Leches. So Ras Malai is like a traditional Indian dessert with soft cheese and milk and cardamom and some sweetness to it. And Tres Leches is the popular like Latin American milk cake. And I love that they made the fusion, so this is Ras Malai Tres Leches. Mm. Guys, this is so good. The perfect fusion dessert. Like, you have to try it. Hey guys, this is the spot to try some unique style of pizza. Hey guys, so I am here at Adele's Fatatre. They specialize in Egyptian street food. And what's unique is they have these fetir, and which they call Egyptian style stuffed pizza. Fetir is like the baked pastry in Egypt and they actually stuff the pastry with different toppings to make it into like a stuffed pizza. So what I have here is the mixed meat which comes with spicy sujuk, basterma and ground beef. If you're also craving for dessert, they also have a sweet version and we got the custard. Mmm. You know that cheese and all that meat? I love that the pastry is actually very very thin so you don't feel the dough being too heavy. And it's very light, you mostly taste the filling which I love. Mmm. So this is the custard. Look at this. So flaky and custardy inside. Mmm, this is really good. So they actually, the custard is homemade and I love that it's not very sweet. It has a nice texture of the custard as well. They add quite a bit of like powdered sugar, so it's up to you if you feel like if it's too much powdered sugar, like ask them to like lessen it. But having the creaminess of the custard with the crispy pastry, it's so good. And if you're looking for a plain pastry, they actually offer the Fetir Michel Tet. So this one here is the plain one. Look how crusty and buttery this is. So it's actually a different dough than the stuffed pizza that they have. So it's also worth checking out. So it's layers of pastry in this one pastry. And what I was told that they love to do is taking this pastry and you dip it into different kinds. So this one here is the tahini. And then they also gave molasses right here. And then there's also the ishta, which is their house-made custard with honey. So let's check how flaky this is. Wow, look at this. So they said to dip in the tahini and the molasses. Mmm, oh it's so flaky, it's so good. Honestly, it's already so good in its own, but just having the molasses and tahini combined, 
gives it a nice like sweet and creamy texture to it. And if you're looking for some drinks, they actually have this Egyptian mango juice. So let's try. It's very refreshing. And it actually reminds me of the mangoes in the Philippines. Like in the Philippines, I've also had the mango juice called Gina. And it's very, very similar in taste. So now we're trying it with the Ishta. Custard and honey. Let me mix this around first. Mm. It's actually a very nice combination. Custard adds like a milky texture to the pastry. Kind of reminds me of the custard stuffed pizza as well. So depending on if you want it stuffed or you dipping it yourself, you can try either. I highly recommend checking this place out. It's so unique. Like you don't really see a lot of Egyptian restaurants in Ontario to begin with, but to see Egyptian stuffed pizza and the traditional street food like this, this is one of a kind. Hey guys, so we're now checking out a unique one of a kind snack concept. I am here at Potato Bar and look at this. If you're a potato lover, this is the spot. It is so unique and one of a kind. So this one is the smoked potato. So what's very unique is it's not just your typical like baked potato. They actually smoke it with Cherokee wood. So what I love here is they have a bunch of international flavors. So this one here is the Big Philly with all sorts of like Philly cheesesteak toppings and sauces. This here is the Fry Snatchu, which is their spin on like the Tex-Mex nachos. And then here we have the Alabama Tots with fried chicken. They also have fresh hand-cut fries and you can get normal one or a loaded one. And if you want some meat with your fries, they also have chicken wings. Wow, that beef is super tender. They actually slow cook it for a really long time and that's why it's, it basically like melts in your mouth. Let's try the potato. Mm. So I actually prefer this over the normal baked potato. Miss normal baked potato, it feels very chunky. But I love what they did there where they kind of mashed it up so that it's very smooth and creamy. And you do taste the smokiness. I highly recommend trying the smoked potato on its own because you might not taste the smokiness once like you have it with all the other stuff. Mississauga's diversity lends itself to some amazing places to eat. And I hope I was able to showcase some of the unique restaurants and food places that you can try. And what's great is after all that eating, Mississauga has so many parks for you to do all the walking to digest all that food. Let me know in the comments what places I should check out on my next visit. In the meantime, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe and watch this next video right here.